What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the Saiyan Day celebration is officially over, and that means we have a brand new campaign on Global to check out. Now for the most part, we know pretty much exactly what's coming, but there could be a few surprises in there. So without further ado, let's pop into the news here and see what's going on. So the campaign is called All Out Effort. Other World Showdown campaign is on. Um, new SSR PyCon and Janemba will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Don't miss out on other events including a new Dokkan event, a new story event, and a new Extreme Z battle. Okay, um, I was really hoping to see new Prime Battle events as well, but as you can see, it's not there. And the reason I thought that was because um, on JP, when they got the dual Dokkan Fest with PyCon and Janemba, they also got the Prime Battle LR uh, Bobbity and Boo, which is a really, really good free-to-play unit. And that would have been just a lot of content for us to grind, because obviously Prime Battles take a while to get done. So I was pretty excited for that. It's not happening. I guess it's too early. It is what it is. But uh, yes, yeah, slight, slightly disappointing, if I'm being honest. So from there, we have uh, a login bonus, of course. We have some special missions. We do have the Legendary Campaign for LR Krillin. Hopefully most of you guys were able to get him done before the campaign started. If not, then you will be missing out on about 10 Dragon Stones, a couple of Kai's, and a couple of Reversal Medals. Nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah, if you guys got him done, good job. If not, you'll still get the 20 Stones, uh, you know, 7 Kai's, and also a bunch of Orbs for getting him done during the campaign, right? So uh, yeah, that's starting today. It's officially started, actually and ends on May 2nd. If you guys need a guide for how to get Krillin done, make sure to go check out my guide from a couple of days ago. I'll put a link somewhere above my head, okay? So from there, we have success rates in training doubled. Nice, very exciting. And also super intensive training, massive growth missions. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, so it looks like we have a second set of missions along with the regular missions that we normally get, so uh, we'll check those out in a second. And what else do we have here? Okay, so we have some Dragonstone sales. Uh, 32 stone pack, two times, and also a 91 stone pack, five times. Pretty standard. But it does look like they're giving us one special pack, 77 stones, one time only. So that 77 stone pack is usually a pretty good deal. So if you guys are, you know, pay to play players, then I would definitely recommend picking that up, as well as the 32 stone packs. The 91 stone packs are not the best, but. You know, if you want to save some money, then obviously those are also a decent option. But uh, yeah, nothing crazy with the stone sales, unfortunately. Now, from there, we have, of course, the Dual Dokkan Fest with the PyCon and Janemba. And uh, in terms of the banners, I'm expecting them to look exactly the same as the ones from uh, JP, which means that we should be getting the return of the LR Blue Fusions, the Blue Gogeta and the Blue Vegito. So if you guys don't have them, then it might be pretty tempting to summon but uh, as i said in my you know pass or pull video from a couple days ago i don't think it's a great idea to spend too many stones on these banners mainly because pycon and janemba are not really like in my opinion at least like super top tier tur's i don't think they're amazing i think they're good but there are much better units on the horizon so um if you really want pycon and janemba maybe do like one round per banner because we do have the tickets we also have discounts three plus one and maybe extra discounts too like the first three multis might be you know like 30 stones 35 stones 40 stones something like that we'll have to see but regardless um i wouldn't recommend anybody to go too crazy you know spend too many stones on these banners just because you know we got the anniversary coming we got some other you know really good token fest banners on the way so these to me are just not like super worth it if i'm being honest okay now, after that, we have the Elder Kai banner, pretty standard. We have the Other World Showdown packs, which are the uh, Pilaf's Trove packs that give you the premium tickets. So, yeah, as you can see, there are a bunch of different banners, right? There's the regular Dokkan Festival banners where you spend stones. There's the uh, Dokkan Festival Summon or Ticket Summon A and B, which are the tickets you get from the, you know, regular banners. And then there's also the premium Dokkan Festival ticket summon and the premium tickets are from this pilaf's trove pack right here 
And uh, of course we have the new stages of the Dokkan event, or rather new stage for Janemba event, and a new Dokkan event altogether for the Pycon. And then there's the Fusion Reborn story event with the free-to-play AGL Veku, who is decent. You know, he's not like great, but um, I think he's cool to have in your collection, so I'd still recommend to do it, obviously for the stones as well. But uh, yeah, new story event, and also a new Ultimate Clash. No surprises there, we always get one every month, right? So uh, yeah, new Ultimate Clash starting tonight as well, so there you go. And also a couple of, uh, or one story event returning. We have the uh, Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road events available every single day during the campaign. And we also have a Weekend Summon Login bonus, and also Weekend Summon Special Missions, as well as the Weekend Summon Banner. So that's coming back starting on uh, this Friday, or this upcoming Friday, no, but today's Thursday. So the next upcoming Friday, and of course during the week we can get missions, or rather uh, through missions and logins we can get tickets to use on the Weekend Summon Banner, which will have some uh, non dokkan Fest LRs in the unfeatured pool. And uh, also, a new Extreme Z battle, new EZA for the STR Janemba. We have the Fusion Category Summon. We have... Uh, oh, by the way, skip this banner. Okay, I always say this. Skip every category banner, so don't summon here. Even if you need, you know, the Go Tanks or whatever, just... It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And then we have the Extreme Z Battle Challenge Pack from the Pilaf's Trove. Not really worth it either, in my opinion. There's the Extreme Z Battle event for Janemba, which is starting or dropping on the 7th, so in about six days from now. And also two Extreme Z Battles available every single day during the campaign. We have the, uh, I think this one's for the Kid Gohan, the SDR Kid Gohan. And of course this one's for the AGL Piccolo. And uh, also three other events reopening on the 7th. The uh, Ginyu event, the Planet Namek Saga, and also the Goku and Friends Radish event. And that's it guys, that is the campaign, nothing that really surprised me, um, we really knew like all the major things were happening, right, the only thing that surprised me honestly was this right here, I wasn't expecting a weekend summon, so that's nice, but aside from that, I mean, everything else was to be expected, so there you go, that is the campaign, now before we get out of here, we are going to check out the massive growth missions, because I'm not sure what these are, uh, let's see, super intensive training massive growth missions, that will be updated every week, available from the 1st to the 20th, interesting, okay, so these missions will go from, will go for literally like a month and a half, or almost two months actually, 6 missions will be available every week, complete all the missions during the event period to recruit 7 Elder Kais, and up to 14 Dragonstones, okay, so I guess that's, that would be the like cumulative missions after the entire like two months it doesn't seem like a lot it doesn't seem like a lot i mean it's like extra kais and stones that we wouldn't have gotten otherwise right so i guess that's nice but like you know for like that long of an event period they could have given us a little bit more you know what i mean anyways uh raise numerous characters to complete missions and obtain dragon stones and various awesome rewards okay so the missions are uh Growth, Z awaken one character, Doken awaken one character, level a super attack to level 3 or above, activate 200 nodes in hidden potential, equip one skill orb, and complete all the massive growth missions. Okay, so basically, I guess these will all be available um, once every week, or once every weekend? No, once every week. Okay, so once every week for the next, like, 6 weeks, and uh, every single time you complete them, or sorry, 7 weeks actually, 7 weeks, and every single time you complete them, you can get all these rewards. So, you're looking at 7 Elder Kai's, 14 stones, as well as uh, 2 Sleepy Kai's each time, times 7, so that these 14 Sleepy Kai's as well. And uh, also some nice orbs too, actually. Okay, so I kind of take back what I said. These rewards are not bad, okay, because like they're giving us a lot of useful, useful stuff. So, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. So there you go, super intensive training missions for the next couple of weeks, or like seven weeks actually and then we have the regular special missions nothing too crazy here 19 dragon stones in total some orbs training locations so on and so forth and then uh, we have the login bonus i'm assuming one stone per day uh yeah one stone every single day there is the new uh oolong bull form 
support item. This one right here, which everybody gets. And uh, the effect for this one is, uh, I think all allies get 20% attack and also 1% uh, increased crit chance for every orb obtained. So not a bad support item, not amazing either, just, just decent. So uh, yeah, I guess that about does it for this new campaign. Um, very interesting, very interesting. Oh, actually, hold on. There must be, there must be an easy, oh, maybe they are not announcing it yet. Yeah, they must have not announced it yet because they're waiting for the day to be over to say like, oh, April Fools. So you guys know like the whole Dokkan of the Dead thing, right? Like the uh, April Fools prank they, they pulled this year where they announced this new event. Wait, where is it? It was just here. Is it gone? It might be gone. Weird. Um, either way, yeah, you guys saw the whole Dokkan of the Dead thing where, like, they introduced this new mode where you can, like, fight zombies with Gohan or Saiyaman and Videl. And uh, obviously that was a prank. So what they do every single year is they, you know, pretend this new mode is coming. And then after they say, oh, it was actually a prank. My bad. Here's some rewards. Here's a, you know, new event with a new free-to-play unit, so on and so forth. So that's coming tonight after the reset uh, in about six seven hours or so so i uh, look forward to that we are getting extreme z awakenings for the uh fizz goku and agl vegeta as well as the new free to play sam man and videl which uh, we'll definitely farm on stream tomorrow and uh oh obviously for the dual dokkan fest banners we will be summoning as soon as the banners drop as we always do so look forward to that stream at i believe 2 30 a.m eastern standard time uh 11 30 p.m Pacific or the Pacific Daylight Time. Either way, it's soon. It's soon. Look out for the for the stream. Um, you know the the what do you call it? The scheduled stream. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there if you guys have the time. If not, then you know feel free to watch the uploaded video the next day. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta say. There's your uh, new campaign. It looks a little bit bare to be honest. I wish there were a few more things to do but it is what it is you know it's not like a really major celebration i guess although it is a dual dokkan fest so i would have expected more stuff honestly but yeah what can you do so there it is let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this new campaign after the saiyan day celebration let me know what you think or what you thought about the saiyan day celebration as well i know there were some mixed opinions about it and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.